Today's episode is Creative Blur using Topaz Studio 2. This is part one of a two-part series. The first part, I'm dealing with the Focal Blur tool, and the next part, I'll be dealing with the Motion Blur tool. Today, I'm going to show you three different examples of using Creative Blur, and think Lens Baby. I really love Lens Baby lenses, and I use those a lot, but if you don't have a Lens Baby lens, man, you can create these effects right using uh, Topaz Studio 2, or Photoshop, or Analog Effects, but today I'm uh, centering in on Topaz Studio 2. So this is the first image we're going to work with. Here's our second image. And here is our third image. So we have three different examples just to show you how Creative Blur can really give you a nice artistic feel to your images. By the way, I'm working with stock images today, and I'm going to link those in the uh, description below. So you can go ahead and download those and follow along with me and try this out for yourself. It's a great way of learning. The first thing I need to do is duplicate my background there when you're working with uh, Topaz Studio 2, because it doesn't do that for you. And by the way, in case you're wondering, you know, a lot of people say, hey, Dave, why don't you make a uh, make this into a smart object? Well, you can't use smart objects at this time with uh, Topaz products. So hopefully that'll change in the near future. I hope so. But anyway, there's my background layer. And let's go ahead and come up the filter and we'll launch Topaz Studio 2 and get started. And now that we're in Topaz Studio 2, let's click add filter and find the focal blur tool which is right here or the focal blur filter whichever you like i'm going to click it and we have a nice blur already this is a really simple tool to use but it's very effective you know you have a blur slider here and a transition slider you have two different types of blurs a circular blur and a tilt and shift blur and i have another video where i've done a tilt and shift effect so you can go back and watch that i'll try to remember to link that at the end of the video so you can go and watch that and you also have this uh, target right here and this is basically just turns on and off this target interface right here watch i'll turn it back on all right now this is sim simple to use you can go ahead and adjust the shape of this target here okay for instance in my case i want this center flower to be in focus okay and you can go ahead and adjust it to the shape of the of the part you want to keep in focus so this area in here will be the part in focus and everything outside of that circle will transition and go out of focus very beautifully and let's see here so let's take the um blur and we'll start to move it to the right but if you don't want to see this target tool in here just click this and it'll go away so let's take the blur and let's start to move this to the right and see how we can blur the background we can give it a super amount of blur which is way too much in my opinion, but hey, whatever mood you're in and whatever uh, expression you want to give your image, you're the artist, you go ahead and do it. But I'm going to think for my image, I want to see some of those flowers in there, but I just want a nice, gentle, soft blur in the background. And again, I'm trying to simulate a lens baby effect where it has a sweet spot of focus. And then you can come back at any time and bring that target tool back up again, and you can you know, readjust its shape. Very simple. You know, you can make it more circular, oval shape, however you want it. And now let me show you something else. Let me shut off the target tool here. Let's take the transition tool and move it the whole way to the left. And I'm going to zoom in on the image here so you can see it. Can you see this area right here is the blur area and here is the in focus area here. And see how harsh that is when the transition tool is, is the whole way to the to the left let me move it to the right and you'll see it'll start to transition out. And you just want to adjust that till it looks right for you. Let me zoom back out. I'm just going to go ahead and get this just where I want it. As you can see, it's a really simple tool to use, but look how beautiful it is. I love the focal blur tool. All right, that's example one. I'm happy with it. I'm going to come up and click accept. That'll send me right back into Photoshop. And now that we're here in Photoshop, let's shut this layer off. So we started out with this image and we end up with this. That little extra blur makes for a nice dreamy image, you know, one that I would be proud to hang on my wall. Let's move on to our second example. So we have this image. I love this image here, but this is the type of an image. It already has a nice dreamy look to it, but it, it screams out lens baby to me. If I was out in the field taking this shot and I saw this, water here with the reflection of these trees and i think it would look really nice and dreamy with a lens baby lens but i'm gonna simulate that right here using topaz studio 2. 
One thing I notice about this image that I don't like is this, this area right here in the water, this light spot and this light spot here. So I'm going to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do, and you've seen me do this in the past if you watch my videos, get a blank pixel there. I'm going to get my uh, spot healing tool, make sure I have sample all theirs checked on. And I'm just going to simply paint over these white splotches like this, or these light pink splotches, and just get rid of them. Because I think our eyes are going to be drawn there, and we're not going to like it. So let's just clean that up real quick. Doesn't have to be perfect because remember, it's going to go out of focus. All right. And that is good enough. Now we have to bring this all together, stamp it together. That's shift option command or control E, depending if you're on a Mac or PC. Remember, we have to do that because we have to send this stamp layer into Topaz Studio 2. If we just sent layer one into Topaz Studio 2, it would just uh, send these. Uh, well, let me show it to you here. It would just send these two healed spots into Topaz Studio 2. And we don't want that. We want to blur the whole image. So let's go ahead and launch Topaz Studio 2 and get blurring. Let's add our filter, the focal blur filter or tool, depending what you like. And already it looks really cool, right? Now we have to determine, you know, what do we want to be in focus? And I like this tree right here to be in focus here. Now let's adjust the shape here. We can move it around and let me just elongate it a little bit, something like that. Isn't that beautiful? beautiful beautiful see that we got rid of those white light spots and i think that's going to be nice and remember if you don't want to see the interface just click on the target tool and that goes away but isn't that nice and now let's adjust our amount of blur see that like that's too much i think but whatever you like again it's up to you and let's check our transition we'll pour our transition in so you can see that hard edge transition there definitely don't want that but let's just adjust the tool it looks good and I'm thinking right like that and we can always come back and click this target here and readjust this a little bit if we need to make any changes that we like let me see what happens if I pull that in just a little bit yeah that looks really cool remember you can left click anywhere in this area here either on the image or on the canvas left click with your mouse hold it down there's the before the original and here's the after I really like it, and that was super easy. Doesn't that look really dreamy? Let's go ahead and click Accept, and that'll send us back into Photoshop. So now that we're in Photoshop, here is the before. Really cool image, and here is the after. Nice, dreamy, ethereal look. And now on to our third and final image. I wanted to give you three different examples of three different types of photography and show you how blur works on pretty much anything you throw at it. Now this image here, I did a little bit of a crop. It's an eight by 10 crop on it. Just so you know, in case your image looks a little different, I cropped it, that's all. So now we're going to duplicate the background layer and let's go ahead and send this into Topaz Studio 2 and we'll do our final blur. Alrighty, add filter, uh, focal blur. And now let's adjust the shape of our blur. Decide what we want and I think I'm going to come in really tight here. I want a little bit of blur on this bag right here, I think. And the other thing I'm going to do is, I think I might just pull this in a little bit more. I'm even going to little, let a little bit of blur be on her um, face. And then I'll fix that in Photoshop and I'll show you how I'll do that. Let me pull this in a little bit tighter, something like that. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And let's shut off our target tool here and let's adjust the amount of blur we want. Let's adjust our transition. I think something like that. Now again, her face is out of focus. Have no fear though. I'm going to fix that in Photoshop. All right, very good. Now I think one last thing I want to do is add a slight amount of a vignette around this image. I think it'll help. So I'm going to use vignette here. And uh, that's good. You know, let's, uh, I'm just going to use the default setting. Here's the before and here's the after. Just a little bit of a vignette, I think, really helps this. All right. So we're ha if we're happy with it, let's click accept and send this right back into Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can really see this area on her face. Now, I really love the blur around everything else on her pants, on the backpack here, but not on the hair and the face. So what I'll do is just add a layer mask here. 
Make sure you have black paint. Make sure you have your brush tool up. And uh, I don't have my brush tool up. Now I do. I'm painting with 100% opacity and a flow of 100%. I'm going to use a nice soft brush, hardness 0%. And what I'm going to do is just simply paint her face back in, get the blur off the face. I don't mind a little bit of the hair being out of focus. It kind of blends in really well with the rest of the image. And I like that. What do you think? So let me shut off the layer mask. If I hold the shift key down and click on the layer mask, that shuts it off. You see the X on there lets you know that layer mask is not being affected, effective now. Let me turn it back on. So there it is. Let me zoom back out. Very cool. The only thing I don't like is see this little light area here. It kind of bugs me. So I'm going to put a blank pixel layer there, get my spot healing tool, and just paint that and get rid of that. That simple. So we've come from here and one to here. And we created that really nice lens baby effect, all with the power of Topaz Studio 2 and the Focal Blur tool. Well, there it is, Creative Blur using Topaz Studio 2. Now today, this was part one, so stay tuned for part two. Part one was the Focal Blur tool. Part two will be the Motion Blur tool, all in Topaz Studio 2 so we can create different blurring effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.